Okay, episode 3, we will show you how to use these uh, additional settings uh, which comes with this uh, mini controller comes out from the with the uh, CAG OFA so what we can do is you can see here on the selector meter here is play, reel and set uh, by default we will always set it to uh, reel so his meaning is showing the real time uh, readings of the display so I'll show you how to do the play thing later so let's go to set so once you go to the set uh, on the side button selector press and hold this left button you will get to this uh, system setup so the whole navigation from here is all stays in here you we don't dis use the touch screens here anymore okay so we can cycle through the different setup by pressing this button so again we have a warning setup gauge setup DTC data this is where you read your car uh, any errors that pops up you can even you can read them what is the code and you can clear them off other setup okay let's uh, have a quick go through with system setup so if you want to enter to this system setup you press the center button there you go so in this system setup you will, it allows you to change the unit so we are using kilometers per hour here kpa for pressure uh, and uh, celsius for temperature so we can do a change just to show you how to change them okay so Again, this is pressed to cycle through the whole selection process, and this is to change them. So you see, you can change the mile, kilometer. Press again, you cycle to KPA, or you, if you like, you can use PSI. Uh, we will use, uh, we'll stay with KPA. Uh, uh, yeah, we use Celsius here, not Fahrenheit. Okay, then we go to speed adjust, 100%. You don't want it to manipulate your speed reading. What it means is that you know you can make it 150%. So if you're running as the 30 kilometers per hour will become like 45 uh, kilometers per hour and RPM adjust as well 100% intake yeah 100% as well uh, yeah if you want to make prank your friend you can uh, if your car is running one bar you can put 200% so actually the reading is showing you two bar <laughs> okay <clears throat> okay let's go to both adjust uh, leave it here dimmer auto uh, by the way this uh, CAG OFA comes with a auto dimming function as you can see there's an auto dim there's a uh, light sensor here that you can you auto adjust the screen brightness gauge respond high fuel type gas uh, fuel adjust yeah make everything 100% so this is the PID with the parameters that we are reading from the car time 120 milliseconds is good enough yeah, we'll do all this. So these are to clear the average fuel consumption zone. You can clear it from here to reset it. Beeper, we'll leave it on so we know we press. There's a beep sound. You can adjust your clock from here as well. Yep. And uh, of course, there's a reset function. So how do you get out from this system setup? So what you need to do is uh, the selector here. Just just push it away from set. Uh, can put it put it to play. Then you get back out here. Okay. Push it back again to set because I'm going to show you other additional setup items from here. Press and hold again. So warning setup. So this is an interesting function from CAG, which is very useful as well. You go to warning setup. So te technometer. So it can uh, give you a warning if you are sweeping above six thousand RPM. Yep. <clears throat> so cycle voltage as well. If it's below eleven volt, you might it might beep you to let you know that you know voltage is low. Speed. Okay, you can do a speed warning as well. Um, water temp, yeah. So, you know, if you if you have a uh, uh, you're worried about your coolant getting too hot, you want to be notified before you you get into the overheat range that's damaging to the engine internal. So we can put to uh, 100, 100. Usually, water temp we go around let's say 100, and uh, depending on car models, continental cars, yeah, they can get quite warm as well. It's for the euro emission. Uh, if you set to 100. 10 110 is, uh, is good enough yeah okay oil pressure if you want to be notified of the oil pressure is all getting too low or too high well temp yeah if it's getting too hot 105 for a euro cars is actually um, quite normal under very heavy um, driving condition so we can set to uh, 125 something like that yeah, anything below one th above 130, you are literally breaking down your engine well already. Okay, fuel pressure, we'll leave that. Exhaust temp as well, you can set 950, I think 
yeah that's okay depending again depending on cars some cars run really hot some cars not especially turbocharged engine okay that's it so this is the uh, warning setup um, let's just cop it out come back in uh, press again cage setup so let's show you what cage that is so there's a daytime color and the nighttime color you can set separately for morning and, and night and you can set the time here <clears throat> from what time to what time is daytime color scheme you want to use nighttime nighttime uh, color scheme that you want to use um, I won't go through that you can explore it yourself it's quite yep straightforward yeah and then the gauge LED okay So basically this video is to show you how to navigate around and what is there for you to change where do you find them and how do you change them okay DTC data yeah this let's see enter okay so you can see read DTC there's no DTC at the moment yeah auto DTC auto clear DTC off yeah you know if cars that you have a uh, um, some cars that you know you have uh, you for example you remove a decay down pipe so it will keep popping up a uh, 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 error saying that your in your catalytic is uh, under efficiency so it, with that EDDC on you have a check engine light on your meter as well so you can set you know, auto clear DTC to get rid of the check in, annoying check engine light that pops up on your instrument cluster yep so here is read DTC zero DTC it means that there's no DTC in there no error uh, found in the ECU. Yeah, this only read the engine ECU. If your car is multiple is ECU or components controller unit like gearbox um, uh, and so on and so forth. So it only reads your engine. Yeah. So zero. If you have one, you can click in. You can I can press the read here button here. It can it will show me the code. Okay. So let's get back out. Again. Okay, so we show DTC and other setup. <coughs> uh, we just leave that X mode on engine cylinder four tag no response. Just leave everything here uh, as it, it is, uh, nothing major. Okay, that's it. So at the same time, I will show you how to do the playback and uh, uh, record and playback of your parameters in the in in the screen here. For example, right now I'm in the real. I press in, I go into the real mode as usual. So I can do a, I just press this button to do a record. There you go, I press a record, so it's showing me now it's recording. So I can do a couple of rev on this car. Or you can go on the road, okay, let's just stop. That is it. Okay, so how do you play back? Go to play. Okay, play. There you go, and I can play. I can press the play button. There you go. So it's playing back uh, what it has been recorded earlier on just now. I was doing the car raving. This is quite useful as well, uh, especially for cars. You know, you want to know how the car is running. Your your eyes is off. Your eyes needs to be on the road, and you want to see how the uh, car values reacting throughout the RPM range when you're doing a you know a white on throttle on the road so after that you do a record and then you can stop the car and do a playback and see how um, how are the parameters running yep all right okay that's it for this episode thank you